Hi everyone, I'm gonna share with you how to achieve easy and long-lasting smoky eyes. We're gonna start by applying some eye primer on top and bottom and then using gel liner of your choice, I'm using Erin Biggs here, we're gonna apply this all over our eyelids. After about 30 seconds, I realized that I picked up the wrong brush because it doesn't really do what I want it to do. So I quickly change it to a flat brush instead, which will apply the gel liner in a more solid and intense way. So basically, this will act as a base for your eyeshadows. Also apply on the lower lash line and by the way if you don't have a gel liner you could use cream eyeshadows or pencil eyeliners just make sure they're black and creamy. And then with a blending brush I'm just softening the harsh edges. For eyeshadows I will only be using two shades. Yes, I told you it was gonna be easy. I'm not lying. The first shade is Urban Decay's Creep, which is a dark gray shade that has a hint of shimmer, I think. And I'm patting this directly on top of the gel liner. You can see how the color of the eyeshadow is intensified because of the black base underneath it quickly blend away any harsh edges using a fluffy brush. With that same brush, pick up any matte brown eyeshadow which will be your second eyeshadow color. Place this above the dark grey eyeshadow and this will act as your transition color so you'll get a nice gradient effect from light to dark. And then you want to open up your eyes by curling your lashes and I think that no smoky eye look is complete without a pair of false lashes so pick your favorite and apply them. For brows, I'm using the famous Anastasia Deep Brow because I intend for this whole look to be waterproof. It's a look that's great to wear in summer or if you live in a tropical place like me. I think that this product is a great choice for warmer environments because it can withstand humidity, water, and sweat. I apply it using an angle brush to the entire brow area except the inner area. For this, I'll be using a pencil that has a slightly lighter color and that way I get a nice gradient effect from light to dark and I'll get a natural and softer looking brow that doesn't look too stark and boxy. And then brush away any harsh lines and if you want, you can take it a step further by applying concealer underneath to just sharpen up the brow and define the shape even more. If you're wondering why I do my eyes first, it's so I can clean up any of the eyeshadow fallouts afterwards and create that fresh and clean looking base. I suggest to always do this every time you do smoky eyes. For hot and humid weather, I can't think of a better foundation than Makeup Forever Face and Body, which is lightweight and waterproof. I'm a believer that less makeup on the skin works best in this environment because heavy foundations tend to crack and get cakey easier in the heat. Another smoky eye essential is to cover up your dark circles really well since they can easily translate as tired or muddy looking. I'm using a lighter shade for brightening effect and this is actually my favorite step because I find that once I've done this, everything just comes together nicely and the smoky eyes come to life. And then set everything with powder. If you have oily skin, you can apply this all over your face. I have a combination dry skin at the moment, so I'm only using this underneath my eyes to set the concealer and a little bit on the T-zone. And for that healthy, summer-looking skin, I'm adding the Balm's Bahama Mama Bronzer just on the perimeter of my face. And then moving on to the blush, I'm using Wet n Wild Heather Silk on my cheeks. Quickly check everything and I decided I want to add uh, mascara on my lower lash line and also a little bit of light for my inner corner so I'm using this Sin eyeshadow from Urban Decay. On the lips, I just have to go with this Revlon lipstick that is very long lasting. It's from their Color Stay collection and 
I actually have a trouble getting it off. It's that long lasting. It stays on so well even after meals, but it feels a bit drying sometimes. So I am adding Elizabeth Arden's 8 hour cream for a bit of moisture and a hint of glow. And we are done. Here is the final look. I hope you like it. If you have any question or suggestion for my next video, just leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye.